Today's Captain's Blog is made possible through the support of David fucking Nerlove. Thank you, sir. Hi there, guys. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. Today, we're going to try a little thing on a bench here. I wanted to do some experimentation with shooting video on the bench. So, to start out with, I have an old Asus laptop and a memory upgrade. And I figured I would shoot a video of upgrading memory on a laptop because this is one of those things that is like a fundamental geek skill and a lot of people don't know how to do this. So I'm just going to take a minute and uh, make this happen. The noise you hear in the other room is Steven and Moose doing upgrades on a laser cutter. So we're going to pop off the little thing so you can just enjoy their conversation because I'm not going to bother to tell them to shut up. So here is the entire process of how difficult it is to do a memory upgrade on a laptop. Okay, when you pay somebody like hundreds of dollars to do this, I want you to remember this video and realize that you absolutely can do this yourself. First off, if you don't know how to figure out what memory you need, flip over your computer, your laptop, look on the bottom, get your model number, go on crucial.com, and they'll tell you what you need. They'll tell you the modules that fit your computer. It saves a huge amount of time, and they're smarter at this stuff than I am. So there's on this laptop, it's really easy. There's only one little hatch on the bottom. And it's going to be different for every model of laptop. So unless you happen to have an Asus model Foxtrot 555L, this is going to be different for you. Okay? But you pop the little thing, save the screw. You'll need that. And then just pop this open. I'm going to be all professional and not just reef it open with my finger. I'm going to actually use a little tool and snap it. These usually have some kind of little snap clips under it. You can see here these little snap clips. So that's your memory module, okay? That's the old one, which is a four gigabyte. This is a new one, which is an eight gig. And they make 16 gigs, but apparently this laptop would have like a 50-50 chance on if it'll recognize it or not. It's not designed to handle that much memory. And I didn't want to spend a hundred bucks and take my chances. So I spent 50 bucks and with the thing that I know will work. So here's how you take the memory chip out. See this little lever arm here, this little metal arm, and there's one right here. You apply pressure up here, out, and the card will snap up all on its own. Just push these out, and the card pops up, just like that, okay? And you can wiggle it. It's free to move, so you can grab this and pull it out and not set it on the big giant how much static can we make mat of the bench. Memory is very static sensitive. So you'll notice as you put the, as you grab the new module, there's a key right here. There's a little slot in it, and that slot matches here. So it goes in on an angle, and you seat it down. You can see all these little gold bits. Those are actually gold, and those are all the electrical connections to the computer. So those slide down into the thing. So you line up the key. You can't put this in backwards because there's a key. You make sure it's all the way in this way. And then you just gently press down, and the two little arms will pop out and lock. So here, watch the arms. We'll do that again. Ready? Okay. And it's installed. That's it. So I always keep my old memory, because you might use it for something else. And we'll just mark that. Okay, so now I know that's a four gigabyte SO DIMM. And then you just gotta put the cover back on, which is a super delicate process because we got those little plastic things. You just squeeze it and then it's down. Super delicate precision process. And then put the screw back in the hole. Tighten that in with just fingertip pressure. And then we move the little sticker back onto the top of the screw which I guess just keeps dust out. They put a sticker there, but they didn't put one here, 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 or here. But we put one there. Who knows? I'm not asking. So at that point, our laptop is officially upgraded. You're done. So you might have to smack BIOS and let it know because probably when you first turn it on, it's gonna have a little nutty because the BIOS is going to be like, my memory is different and I'm scared. I need a grown up. So I'm just going to boot this up, kick through the BIOS and we're set. But that is your quick how to on how to upgrade memory 
on a laptop. So thank you guys for hanging out. And now I'm going to get this into BIOS and take the next steps. So thanks, guys. Have fun. See you.